Brett here with ShySky.com. Today we're going to show you how to use recycled styrofoam to make homemade plastic. And the aspect of plastic has so many uses that this is a tip that's very well worth knowing. Is what you do is you break up your styrofoam. You're going to have basically two types of ingredients. Styrofoam, a good mixing container, which I'm using a can, a coffee can, and acetone. You want to be careful with this because it has been known to have some violent reactions. Is what I'm going to do is break my styrofoam up into small pieces and I am going to put it in with the acetone and you're going to actually see it start to dissolve. And then I'm gently going to agitate the styrofoam. And then I'll add a little bit more. And I'm not trying to increase my reaction time on this at all. I'm just gently throwing little pieces in and agitating until it's all dissolved. And I will keep throwing pieces until I get just about the um, consistency that I need to complete the application which I'm going to show you. Right here is the consistency that I like to work with. Keeping in mind that if you want a thicker consistency you can add more styrofoam or if you need it thinner you can add a little more acetone. This is going to work for the project that, that we have in mind for it. You can actually pick it up and you can see that this stuff is extremely pliable and it'll work in odd shaped places to actually seal or, or to bond or you can lay it flat. Um, you could actually as it starts hardening up it'll start to get more clay putty like and you can use it as, as a mold. This stuff smooths and lays out relatively very flat. It dries hard and I think this will definitely assist you when you're looking for a plastic to fill a hard to find spot.